from Titanium Geek. We're about to find, or hope to find, on this sunny, cold winter's day, what we think could be, could it be, the world's toughest smart train. Just thought I'd do this a little bit different, because this isn't one tough turbo trainer that we've been testing now for a month solid on the various platforms. Didn't really want to do it like normal reviews, you know, somebody puts up a green screen, you see in the background they're riding on something like Zwift, they're pedaling away breathlessly uh, and telling you all about their experience of using it for five minutes before they move on to the next product. He says slightly tongue in cheek, but probably not. Here it is, buried prey. Really is tough living out in the woods, but let's have a look properly at it. Comes beautifully boxed. Uh, we were kind enough to also get speed play pedo pedals and a Woohoo Ticker X, which Ticker X might be an important thing for you with, with this product. So it just boxed up really, really well. And you'll see inside what comes. You've got the normal cables uh, for plugging it in, obviously. You've got the instructions, and you'll see in a second. You have warnings on there pleading to people to read the instructions. You can do through axle and you can do quick release on this turbo trainer. And what you have is you have fixed legs. It doesn't fold up. So those of you with restricted space, this might not be the one for you, but how many people do fold up the turbo trainer anymore? So that's the Roswell Space Alien. Here it is fully built with the warning notice to read the instructions. It comes with all the various uh, bits you need, say for quick release and also through axle and even a little spanner in there, wrench for you people overseas. And you have a spacer for those people running 10 speed. Um, I run 10 speed, but I actually run it on a 12 speed sprocket, which seems to work, or cassette. Doesn't come with a cassette, important point for this price point. Nice little bits, you get little caps that go over for sweat protection, because we all know what it's like when you're turbo training indoors with sweat and all that sort of stuff. And motivational signs like crank it up are put there, which I think is a lovely touch. I love Wahoo's branding. I think it really stands out. It's blinking great you know they can take something which let's say is mid-market and make it look absolute premium and there it is living rough again with a bit of my um strange filming blair witch project see that the flywheel the flywheel feels heavier than it is it's 5.5 pounds if you were to use something like a saris h3 which is well like butter smooth is 20 pound flywheel wheel windmill wheel. Just a look at the welding joints, a bit biased on that one. I used to do some welding once upon a time, beautifully welded, put together. Say so the flywheel, when you're using it, um, does feel good actually. It's very smooth turbo trainer. And as you can see here, I'm pointing out again the fact that you don't get a sprocket that comes with this or a cassette. You've got to go out and buy your cassette. Um, I need to do a video soon as well on uh, spacing for cassettes for. And also top tips for e-racing, but that's a totally different subject. That will get out pretty soon. Bear mock on there, you can see this is from, even though well, I cleared it very well before a video in this, obviously not well enough. And um, yeah, we used it for a month solidly. And I'm currently sitting on a very similar turbo trainer to this one, which is the Jet Black Vault. It is remarkably similar in many ways. Even so, I swapped over the power uh, adapter from this to the vault and vice versa. Uh, so they're not exactly the same because they don't run properly either of them on each other's power supply. So even though they look very, very similar, obviously the gubbins inside are different. This connects um, to all the normal platforms you'd expect it to do. Zwift, RGT, Virtuo Pro, MyWoosh, Ruvi, all that sort of stuff. You can see I'm using um, a skewer on this one that came with it. Uh, and I've just, I use an old bike. I don't with the, exactly the same measurements as my outdoor bikes. But um, I don't like the idea of going, you know, a nice bike, horrible indoors, but I just get my position exactly the same. You can see it's got a very good um, setup, for almost like a double flywheel arrangement on this. And I think that's what really helps to make it feel smooth. I would argue now we're probably getting to, uh, that's just showing you one of the caps off there. We get it to peak smart trainer. I think if you're doing esports racing, Something like this, weighed down, obviously on a firm floor, which will be for my next video on top trips to get maximum power out. This, this is, um, you know, a really good, a really good machine for it. It's two percent plus or minus accurate, which is about as good as external power meters. I'll show you some power tests in a second, but say so really robust, really good. You can see this is 
me turbo draining it on a month obviously not on this table i've moved it out of the um, garage so you can get a better look at it but it's had a month of use it's been carted down the road it's been shoved in some woods for some video it's been pulled back quick dust over uh, and this is it it's you know not nice piece of kit very good and i could see why on the uk zwifters facebook page when any anybody asked the question what's the best smart trainer to get people would say the kicker core just get the kicker core don't even think about it for the price it's great mm, that's an interesting one when you come up against the jet black because the jet black you do get a cassette you do get a cassette and if you shop around you'll get a jet black so it's a very similar smart trainer with a cassette for less obviously what you get with uh, Wahoo, great brand, support, Wahoo system app, all that sort of stuff. And you're in the Wahoo ecosystem, you become a Wahoo good and all that good stuff. Now, what the real geeks want to know is it says plus or minus 2%. What does that mean when compared to something else? Where compared to something else, just be careful because remember comparing it to something else means another manufacturer needs another, uses another methodology for um, working out the power of their devices, but they're all pretty similar. So we use the 4i crank, which we love using. We have got Garmin pedals here and other stuff at our facilities. Um, but what we use, 4i crank, well-known comparison tool, recorded the 4i crank onto Zwift. So it went direct to Zwift. And then with the Wahoo Kicker Core, we recorded that using a Wahoo Fitness Element Bolt, the new one. And you'll see anything up to three minutes is outside of 2% variance. Three minutes onwards, it gets really close, really close. So we're down to about a 1% difference, which is really good. Now, there's a squiggly line for those people who like squiggly lines. My point on using power is, just remember, it's always good to have a power meter on your outside bike. It's the same power meter that you use when you train outside. So you've got comparable data. Yeah, I know just 2%, but you can't make out for example, let's say there's a 2% difference in your power meters and you go, oh, it's absolutely amazing. I've made a 2% gain compared to turbo training on Zwift or I've gone in and I've turbo trained over the winter and I'm 2% better. That just could be the slight variance between the two um, different forms of recording power. As I said earlier, on the UK Zwifters and other forums, people say, what's the best smart trainer for money? People will say, get the Wahoo Fitness Kicker Core. They're robust, bomb-proof, super tough. You part the I've said already the Wahooligan thing, the ecosystem of Wahoo. They're almost fully vertically integrated now. Look, you can get pedals, you can get heart rate monitor, you get smart trainer, you can get bike computer, you can get all sorts of things, and the Wahoo system training system, which is, you know, as similar to Peloton Apple Fitness as you can probably get with a big bent towards cycling. So you can get all that. That all comes um, as being part of Wahoo. The brand's amazing. Um, the support's amazing. Everybody knows all that sort of stuff. So that's what you get. And you're probably willing to pay that extra for that comfort, that warm blanket of the Wahoo fitness uh, comfort around you. And you, you probably, that's what you want. However, if price is the thing, you know, get the Jet Black Vault. It'll cost you less and you get a cassette. You don't get a cassette with this. Um, and if you want a little bit more as far as more slope and, you know, if you are really bothered with, you know, 1% extra accuracy, personally, I wouldn't be then because um, I've already stated my, my my point on that one. Hopefully don't over labor it. You know, you could go up to Elite and uh, other similar brands. But anyway, so that's it. But it's it's really good. Now, you might say, would you pay extra Dave for the full on kicker? And the answer is no. Why not? Well, if you're serious about eSport, it's all about getting the watts down. And this thing is solid. Chuck some sandbags on it. Get your gear ratios right with the sprockets you put on. For example, you create your own vet on this with very close ratios. So you want close ratios, sandbags down, super hard floor. You don't want elastomers. You don't want balance boards. Um, you don't want any of that. You want to be able to get watts down solidly and not lose any uh, anywhere and have a really good draft chain. That's another story. And this is perfect for this. It's almost peak smart trainer. So this and its competitors are probably all you need to do really in smart trainers. Yes, you can have the bells and whistles. You can have like, I've got an ariser on the front and you could have those wobble boards and all that sort of stuff. But that's for those of us who want more of an immersive experience. Um, but I think this is all round is a good smart trainer. So how about that? Well, very good. Bye now.